All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel or back to the channel. If you're subscribed or not subscribed, check out the links in the description below. Like, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff helps out. I uh, haven't posted in a while. I decided to sell my house. So for the last basically month, I've been uh, cleaning, getting the house ready and stuffing the garage with stuff. And that's why I haven't put out a video. And even on this one, I didn't really totally finish this. I just wanted to get a video out. Um, I try to do a kind of like a liquor cabinet bar cart thing on a budget. I think I only spent about $71 total on this. Uh, my parents had an armoire and some timeless blue paint left over for some projects. So I just took those both. So those are both free. But if you want to make this, you can go on Facebook Marketplace and armoires you can get for free pretty much all day, every day. So yeah, let's check out this process. Um, it turned out okay. Again, a personal project with the prep stages I kind of skimped over some stuff because I was keeping this and I wasn't selling it but yeah let's check this out and see how it goes all right so first step here as always we're just gonna be sanding down everything I didn't really fix any of the divots or anything on here and I'm just using 150 grit sandpaper all over the place to help the paint stick in the future So let's get all this mess off. I just used some crud cutter and paper towels and uh, just wiped everything down and tried to get as much grime off as I could. Okay, time to get ready for some paint. I just used the Zinzer 1, 2, 3 primer and uh, we're going to be spraying everything, the inside and outside. Okay, time to get some color on this. As I said before, I'll be using some Timeless Blue and I uh, usually do about two or three coats of this.
right, so the backboards I used were just some laminate flooring. I went to Home Depot looking for some wood, but I'm sure as you guys know, every single piece of material right now is so insanely expensive. Um, so I just got something that was really cheap. I think I got the whole box for about seven bucks. Um, I forgot what length I had to cut them in, but I just used to use these to put on the back end just for some color contrast. And uh, yeah, we can watch this process. And here is me test fitting everything. I think I used three or four pieces up top and then I just split two for the bottom there. So in order to get these all fit together, I had to put the armoire down and kind of pound them into place with the mallet. And then I also used wood glue, uh, the Gorilla Glue to hold them down. And then I just put some paint cans on them to make sure they stay secure. Alright, so I got these cool LED lights, just figuring out how to get them off that little wheel. Um, I'll just be putting them all around the inside and outside. Uh, I kind of wish I put them on more areas on the bottom side because it's not very lit up. But um, yeah, just put them all around and on the back as well. So let's check this out. So this is what it looks like with the lights on and we can go check out how it looks with the lights off as well. Okay, so I'm about to put the light in here. Um, I didn't really have to measure because there's an odd amount of lines up there. So the middle one was exactly 50% of the armoire. Um, <clears throat> you're gonna see here that I made a way bigger hole than I had to. I didn't realize that I could take the wire out of the plug and maybe drill a 1 8 hole instead of drilling the whole size of the actual plug for the outlet. I will fix this later, but again, since I'm selling my house, this is um, in the middle of it, and I just don't really have enough room to work right now in the garage. But uh, yeah, you'll see a big hole there, but other than that, it looks pretty cool, and uh, let's check out this process.
Okay, so as you can see, we got the light in. You can see the big hole right there. Um, so for this, I'm just putting in the glass holders and I'm just putting them in the corners kind of where the, uh, there's a little inch of wood up there to the left and right. So you see me trying to kind of measure everything, but at the end of the day, if I just stuck it in the corner, it attached itself kind of to a 90 degree angle and there was no measurements needed. I did kind of figure this out and then decide to do that in a little bit here. But uh, yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Okay, so I went ahead and shot this a uh, few minutes ago. Um, again, I just I don't have enough time or room to really put it in anywhere since I'm selling the house. But uh, yeah, this is kind of it finished. As you can see, the glasses are up there. Everything's secure, ready to go. I do have to fill the hole. Um, but this is what it looks like with the wine rack as well as some shot glasses and some liquor bottles in there. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, again, it's, it's an okay design, but again, I try to do this for as low amount of money as possible on a budget that's what it looks like with the lights on and uh, yeah let me know what you think in the comments like comment share all that good stuff helps with the channel and until next time thank you very much